Early morning in the harbor of Salala in Oman. The Sara, flagship of the European Union mission, puts out to sea for the Gulf of Aden. Its task is to protect merchant ships and hunt down pirates, a battle against an elusive enemy. The free boaters are based on dows, simple wooden boats. They're disguised as peaceful fishing or trade boats. But fitted with powerful engines, they can be faster than expected. There are thousands of them in the area. That makes the EU's mission tough. Um, do we know the name of this boat? No, we don't. Okay. It must be a fishing boat. I think so too, yes. Because we are searching for a dow at this moment. And, uh, okay, so we are proceeding this way. The yes. German lieutenant, Commander Hendrik Fuchs, is one of 16 EU officers serving on the SARA the headquarters of the anti-pirate mission. He identifies suspicious vessels. If a pirate skiff is hidden among these little yellow points, we wouldn't immediately notice it. We can't recognize which are pirates until they go into action. Helicopters are the most effective weapons in the struggle against pirates. This one can search sea areas hundreds of square kilometers in size. When it flies low, it can even monitor small boats. It sends information directly to the SARA. Deep in the interior of the frigate is the mission's control room. All six participating EU warships send their data here and they're analyzed to protect civilian shipping in the Gulf of Aden. All the information comes together here. I'm like the spider at the center of the web. Usually 70 ships ply the waves here from west to east or east to west every day. We try to plot the path of each ship so we always know where they are. Once again he's found a potential target of the pirates and marks it in pink on the chart. We regard a ship as especially endangered when it sails slowly, below 10 or even under 15 knots. And if the distance from the waterline to its railing is short, because that means pirates can easily board such a ship. Thanks to this surveillance, the number of pirate attacks has fallen, but the results could be better. Currently, 20 other warships are cruising this region of the sea. Some from the United States, Russia, or like this one, Malaysia. But this officer says the other ships are reluctant to cooperate with the Europeans. You have to coordinate because you are with a lot of ships over here and if you don't coordinate then everybody is doing something and, and th that means you have to exchange your program uh, for the next four or five weeks. You have to exchange what you are going to do with your helicopters, uh, with your uh, fixed wing aircraft and if they are not using it then we can use it and you have to discuss that with each other because we don't have that information from them so you have to speak with them. Then the helicopter gets orders to go into action. A suspicious vessel has been reported moving within a few kilometers ahead. Flying low, the helicopter approaches the target while the Sara follows at just 50 kilometers an hour. A sharpshooter aims at the boat with its five suspected pirates on board. The Sara has meanwhile launched a swift boat with heavily armed specialists. Within seconds, it reaches the suspicious ship, whose crew surrenders without resistance. And then comes the all-clear signal. It was all just a drill. But in real cases, too, the soldiers don't know whether their targets are really pirates until they've made their move. The main difficulty is that you cannot identify exactly who is the pirate, who is the fisherman, uh, in particular during the fishing uh, periods. These pictures show how fast a mission can turn serious. The crew of a French helicopter took the footage a few weeks ago. The soldiers have spotted two boats with suspected pirates. 
but the men don't stop when challenged. Even a machine gun salvo from the helicopter doesn't make much of an impression. The boats don't stop until after the fourth salvo. While the helicopter keeps them in check, the French frigate approaches. The men on the boats use the time to toss evidence overboard. Like this ladder, supposedly used to board target ships. And then what looks like weapons. The men later have to be released for lack of evidence. On board the Sara, Hendrik Fuchs goes off duty after a 12-hour shift. He shares a tiny cabin with a Spanish officer. A total of seven nations are on board the warship, speaking seven different languages. That's intentional. It underscores the international character of the mission. According to the officers, there are no problems with communication with each other. Concentration reigns up on the bridge. Radio communications are monitored for indication of piracy, but the military commanders of the fleet say that no matter what they do, piracy will never be completely eliminated. We can repress the piracy, we cannot eradicate uh, the piracy only by using uh, naval units. A uh, political solution, a restoration of peace, a uh, new political process uh, is needed uh, within Somalia. The EU's mission at sea is due to last till the end of the year. But the real causes of the piracy can only be combated on land.